Two in five Canadians are expected to be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime, and one in four will die as a result. Over 85,000 Canadians last year alone. Now, the cancer therapeutics we're using can slow tumors from growing, but the issue becomes when those tumors spread throughout the body. In fact, 90% of all cancer-related deaths are due to the metastatic spread of the disease. We're competing in the race to stop the spread by designing drugs for a new target that can do just that, even in aggressive and highly fatal cancers like glioblastoma, which currently has no cure. The drug you see on screen is different from its peers since it can twist and turn to lock itself into the target for maximum potency. But you may be wondering why we got two of them. Well, when we create this drug, that key twist can form either turning one way or the other. This means with every reaction, we create billions upon billions of molecules in a single vial, and only half of them are active cancer therapeutics. To understand why our drug forms like this, I want you to take a look at your hands. While they tend to look the same, and they are mirror images, they are non-superimposable, and this makes them unique. The same spatial property that defines our hands also defines our drug, and it's called chirality, or fittingly, just handedness. And just like most of us have a dominant hand, so do most drugs. Our drug could be considered a lefty. Its left-handed version is a thousand times more potent in fighting aggressive cancers. Now, imagine if you were the one tasked with only picking out the active drugs from a sea of billions of twin molecules. Most of the time, it can't be done. But it must be, and I'll tell you a story why. The drug thalidomide was once available over the counter to pregnant women as a remedy for morning sickness, but it had to hastily be pulled from the market when it caused tens of thousands of birth defects and even deaths. What wasn't known at the time was while the right-handed drug was perfectly safe and effective, the left-handed one was highly toxic. These seemingly identical drugs can vary wildly in efficacy, and it is crucial they be separated. Using the current separation methods available, this could run us hundreds of thousands of dollars just to make enough material for a clinical trial. That's where my methods come into play. I leverage other naturally occurring left-handed molecules like menthol and amino acids to bias our synthesis. And the results? We're offering practical and cost-efficient methods by attaching those other lefties to our drug, we're forcing that twist to form only in the potent left-handed fashion. And when applied, we're seeing anti-cancer activity in ovarian, breast, and even brain cancers. These new selective inhibitors and methods are opening the door for a new class of cancer therapeutics to help stop the spread. And that is how we're gaining the upper hand on cancer. Thank you.